know, this has always been a tough part for me to try to teach her is to come in to do the join up. Because what, what this join up is is that you're really wanting the horse to be with you, that you really want the horse to want to be with you. She don't really want to be with me. <laughs> <laughs> and that's okay. That's not, you know, it's just something that she's got to get over. Yay. Here she comes. Sweet. Mm -hmm. uh, let's see if she'll let me rub her all the way around. I'm just going to drop the, the rope on the ground. And she's let me do it a couple of times, but, um, you know, she's just not consistent with it. So I started at the same spot each time. Hey, blue sky. <laughs> That was nice. She let me get all the way around, and then she backed up a little bit, and then she turned her head towards me. So that's that's very big for her. I mean, she like I said, she lets me do it every now and then. She's not consistent at it, and I just gotta get her consistent at it. But what I did this time was instead of letting her move away from me, I kept my hand on her butt and moved with her until she stopped. And when she stopped, then I tried to go around her. So that was the big difference. The first time I just let her know that she could go ahead and get away from me, that she wasn't stuck here. But then the second time, it was to let her know that I need to get around you, okay? But I didn't force the issue. You see how, what she's doing? She's turning her head and she's looking, okay? 
And that's very important. I want her to look. I want her to see what I'm doing. Now I'm going to see if I can do it on the other side. Shifted her body so she could kind of keep an eye on what's going on. But she actually didn't turn. That was good. So now I'm going to give her a break. Because when, when you, you have a big moment like that where you can walk around this, this horse particularly and you can do it both sides, that's that's a big thing for her. Uh, it's it's not easy for her. Now see, she's, she's following. So that's, see, she's, she's starting to understand that I'm okay. I mean, she's been doing this, I mean, uh, but it's just not consistent. And I just got to try to get that consistency going with her. Now look how soft her eyes are. And her ears are forward. I just can't wait to see what her and Poco put together. Yeah. I can't wait. Let me do it again. Now this time I don't have the lead line on. So she really has freedom of movement. No, maybe she's not gonna let me do it. Let's see what she does. And I know sometimes people say, well, why don't you take a chance on walking behind a horse like this that doesn't trust you? And in a way, I am, but in a way, I'm not. Because don't forget, I've got my hands on her constantly. So if I start feeling her muscles starting to tighten up, that's a warning sign that she's starting to get a little bit nervous. So then I'm going to go back to here and then get her relaxed again. Now, if she starts still tightening up, and then there might be a good possibility that she might try to kick me. But she's not a mean horse. She's not a vindictive horse. It's just that she just doesn't know who to trust. And see, when I get my hands rubbing all over her, I'm very slow, but I'm methodical. See? See how she keeps turning to look. And that's good. I want her to. I have nothing to hide with her. See that? Very nice. And that's okay if she shifts. She's just actually making my trip around her butt a lot quicker. <laughs> All right, sweetheart. That is very good. I'm very happy with that. I can't wait for the day that she wants to be constantly with me. And, uh, that's what I'm looking for. And that's what I'm hoping to achieve this year. And I really would love to be able to get on her back. But I really feel that if I can get her relationship with me a lot stronger, I'd be even happier with that. Okay, it's good. I gotta go check and see what those guys are up to. I got a funny feeling they're in the haven.